Hilchis Nachlis Perek Asiri. Shnei Achim Shecholku. And then Ubolem Achim Dinis Ayam. You have two brothers, assuming that they're the only two Yarshim. And then they divided the Yerusha. And then there's a third brother comes. And we know that he's a third brother. And now we have to divide the Yerusha also with him. So the question is, should each brother give from his part, a third of his part, in the middle of that will accommodate the third brother. We say, no, now there's, there was a mistake in the Chalukah. Now we have to make a new Chalukah. That's this din. Shnei achim shecholku, bo le ma'achim dinus hayam, or v'chein shlei shachim shecholku. And then, ubo balcheiv, v'not lo chelke shelechem nam, a balcheiv came and took the chelik of one of them. Afilu not lo zek karka v'zek sofim, and lepeil, the balcheiv came and took the karka, which was very clear that since he's taking karka and he's taking sofim, so if a balcheiv will come, he'll take from the karka. But nevertheless, Lepel, since he took away the karka, so it says he never got the schelik. Because Napshah will say he got the chalukah, and Lepel, now he's going to lose part of it. No, we say that since Lepel is being taken because of a chayv that the father had, so then it's ke'ilu, he never got it. So Mimele comes out that there was no proper chalukah. So then, so bottle machlek is the whole machlek is the whole chalukah is bottle, and the chayz and the chilk and ashar And then you go ahead and you chilk and ashar So again, so since some of the Yerusha was taken away through a Balchev, or some of the Yerusha was taken away through a new Yerush, so then you have to go re- ahead and reassess the whole situation and make a new Chalukah. Now, Mishat Siva, the same thing, Allah HaBez, Mishat Siva v'Shas Misasei, Shiyitnu l'pleini deka l'isodim and chesov, and l'peil v'cholko achim em v'lei nosnu iklum, and now this person is coming along, so we have to, this person has to be given the decal and the soda. And if there wouldn't have been a decal and a soda, so then the, things would have been divided differently. So the din is again, so harei, ha is betelus. So the machlek that was made, this chalukah which was made, assuming that, that everything that we had was really belonging to the Yerusha, wasn't true. Because the decal and the soda weren't belonging to the Yerusha. And now you have to have a new reassessment. And then, Vacharka, Choizen, Vechilkin, Kitchilus. Now you start a new Chalukah. So, Kitz of the Kudus Advarms, you made a Chalukah. And later on, we find out that some of this Chalukah was taken away, either by a Yerish or by a Balchev, or by a person that he was Mitzavah to give something away. So, it's Kilu, the, the Chalukah wasn't a proper Chalukah, it has to be redone. The new Chalukah has to be redone. Allah Hagim. Ha'achin Shecholku, and Lepel, they're making a Chalukah, and they're also wearing clothes. And that clothes they got from the estate. In other words, they didn't make the chalukah right away. They waited a while. And during that while, they still they bought clothes from the estate. And they're wearing the clothes. So now when you make the chalukah, you assess how much are those clothes worth. If one, one brother is wearing a suit that's, wear, that's worth $200, and the other one's worth is wearing a suit that's worth $500, so immediately you make the assessment. He has $200 and he has $500, and that has to be accommodated for. Nochemol ha'achim shecholku, shaman mashalev. What their children are wearing, their sons and daughters are wearing, that's ain't shomer. That's not taking into account. Because we say the bonim, the bonis, and the noshim were already zeichel laatzman, and therefore that's not taken into account as being the yerusha. Because right now you're dividing how much money is there in the yerusha. Those, those clothes were already given to the bonus of bon, the bonum of bonus as if there's no longer part of the Yerusha. When we're talking about Big Dechil, they're not assessed when they're on the bonum of Ubnesev and Ishtai. The clothes which are connected to Shabbos and Meir, so then it's Shaman Mashalem, you, you are Shaman. You are Shaman those clothes. So be kitzer. Clothes that the, 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 the Yusem themselves are wearing, you are Shaman. Clothes that their children are wearing or their wives are wearing. So the big dechel, you're not shaman. Mashiach and the big dechabas, you are shaman. Now the question is, what's the difference between the big dechel and big dechabas? So there's some learn that the pshat is because you don't want to be mavaza the children, that they should have to come to business to assess what they're wearing or what the wife is wearing. It's a bizarre for them. So therefore, the, the, it was tiknu that we shouldn't be shaman mashalei. Bamed var mamurim the big dechel. Mashiach is Shabbos, you know, the, the dintera is happening during the weekday. So Shabbos clothes, she's not wearing the, the, they're not wearing their Shabbos clothes. So mainly the Shabbos clothes could be assessed. So the pastures are different is because in order to sp- prevent the zilzal of these ktanim and ktanis. Now, if that's the case, if they have big dechel and they have one, more than one pair of big dechel, so you can have the, assess the big dechel that they're not wearing. So then also you have to assess it. And those, the big dechel that they're wearing, you don't have to assess. Masha'inki, the second set of big dechel that they have, 
which they're now wearing, which is Munab Bekufsa, so that they would assess. That Lukhur would come out of that's the Hezbo. There's another Hezbo, the Big Dechel is more Poshet. So we assume everyone is Mavatar on the Big Dechel. Mashenk and Big Dechabas is more elaborate, it's more expensive. So then we assume that they're not Mavatar on the Big Dechabas. If that's the case, it could be that Big Dechel, even if you have a second pair of Big Dechel, you also won't assess it, because it's not the reason why you're not assessing it, because you don't even mavaz anyone. The reason you're not assessing because we assume, since they're not really expensive, so the pastors, they were meichel to each other this close. Halach adal. Mi yishi iniach yiseinim, miktsosim gedelim and miktsosim ketanim, and lepeil verotzu lachleg benichsi aviyim, kedei shi yitlu agedelim chalkim. They wanted to make a chaluka, the gedelim wanted to make a chaluka, in order for the gedelim to get their chalik. They didn't want their chalakim to be mixed together. So now, so the question is, who is going to stand the Mkay Maktana to assure that they get a proper chalik? Now, the Mai says the chaluk of the pastos is going to be maybe Ali de Gail. It's not like they make up who's getting what. But on the other hand, there has to be someone to make sure that the chaluk is done properly. And if they're discussing with each other who's going to get what, so also you have to have someone that an apotropus will be oimed the Mkay Mayusayim. So the din is Mamidin Bezdin Nachamal. Misha Yiniach Yusayim Mitzasim Dim Mitzasim Tanim. Veratsu lachleg benichsi avim. Now the word veratsu, it's not so clear who wants to. The stasis has an issue, does it mean the gdele maratsu, the tan maratsu? Ram says tam like lashna gemara, veratsu lachleg benichsi avim, kede shiitlo agdelem chalkan. So who's the ratsu? The ratsu goes on the ktanim, the ktanim wants kede shiitlo agdelem chalkan, or it means the gdelem want in order for them to take their chalik. So the chulet just said veratsu agdelem lachleg benichsi avim. Kedeshi yitlu chalkim. The word agdelim should have said before. But I'll call upon him. That's the Lashna Ramba. Mishi niach yusayim and mitzasim gdelim mitzasim tana. And v'ratzu lachlik benichsi avim. Kedeshi yitlu agdelim chalkim. So the din is mamidin bezdin apotrupis lektanim. Bezdin sets up an apotrupis for the ktanim. Uberi lehem hachelik hayofa. And this apotrupis, is, is, his job is to make sure that the ktanim should get a chelik hayofa. They should get a good portion of this chalukah. And once the, the Ketanim become Gedelim, and now they're tiny, they're not really happy with how, what they got. So the din is, Einam Yechelim Limches. Shari Pi Bezn Cholkolab. Since this was done Pi Bezn, so therefore it's a proper Chalukah, and therefore they can't be Ma'arer on that Chalukah. That's talking about if there was no mistake in the evaluation of the property. However, Vim Tov Bezn Beshuma, Lepel Bezn made a mistake, Upi Chasushtus, and they had a Shtus less, and it was, that things were assessed for a sixth less of its true value. So then, as Yechelu Limchus, so then the Ketanim could be making and say, "Listen, you gave us this item, which was really not worth as much as the item you gave the they gave our brothers to the Gedelim, and it was like a sixth less of what it should have been worth." So then, as Yechelu Limchus, and then the Chazin, the Chil, can Chalukah Cheres Achos and now you make a new Chalukah, and then you don't need the Apotrupes; they were already Higdilu. So now you don't need an Apotrupes. So Nachama, what's the Nikud of the Din? That if you have your same gedele muktanim and they want to make a chalukah, so you're mamidin lam apetrupis to make the chalukah. If lepel there was no mistake to the extent of being a sixth less of its value, whereas the, the, the yosim didn't get a, a, a property which was worth a sixth less of its value, so then the din is he can't be meicha. Mashainkin, if what he got was a sixth less, was picha sushtos, was a sixth less of what he was entitled to. In other words, he, he was entitled, he, he, the other person received a piece of property that was worth $600. $600. And Lepel, he received a piece of property that was worth only $540. So Melitz was a sixth less of what he should have gotten. So then that would entitle him to be able to say that I want to have a re chalukah of the, of the Yerusha. Is Yechel and Limches, Vechezen, Vechelken, Chalukah, Cheres, Acher, Shigdil. After Shigdil, they go through another Chalukah. Halacha hei, mi shemes v'iniach yershim g'deilu muktanim is sorech l'manes ha-petrupis she mesasik b'chei l'kakot na chiyagdo. So it's an obligation to the father that realizes that he's being, that he's dying. So he should be meman na to be mesasik b'chei l'kakot na chiyagdo. Now, over here we're not talking about that dividing the Yerusha. Dividing the Yerusha, we learn in Halacha Dalet, that mi shiniach yisem m'kzasim g'deilu m'kzasim tanim, and then they want to make a chalukah in order to divide the Yerusha. So then there's a din over there that you have man apetrupis to be buried a chelik yofa for the ketanim. Over here we're talking about they're not being a mana. There's no chalukas ha-Yerusha. 
And therefore, Bamas the Rabbit asks, since there's no Chalukas Hayerusha, so Fakert, it's better for the Ketan, and that the Gdolim should take care of it. So what's this idea of being Maman Apetrupas? As vice is according to the Rambam, Enochinami, the Karka, everything remains together, but nevertheless, there has to be someone that's overseeing on behalf of the Ketanim, and there's also the Metaltalim and the Kesef, which they do divide, even when before they divide the actual Karka, so there's an Indian of being Maman and Apotrupus for the cotton even before the Chalukas of the Karkois of the Yerusha. Nachamol. Halacha hei, Misha Mes, v'iniach yorshim g'dele muktanim, so the din is tzorech l'manas Apotrupus, it's an obligation of the father to be Maman and Apotrupus, sh'yia mis'asik b'chelek ha-kotna t'shiyagdu, that he should take care of the chelek ha-kotna, v'aisa is the chelek ha-kotna of the metaltolin, at-shiyagdu, v'im le'imino, and if Lepel, the father, wasn't the manna, so then it's chai of Bezdin, Lahamid Lahem Apetrupis, Achi and Dilu, until they become Gdelim. She Bezdin, Avim Shal Yusemim, so Mimela, so it's really a chiv on the Avim Shal Yusemim, but Lepel, the father, is no longer alive, so the Bezdin is the Avim Shal Yusemim. Halachavav, Tziva Hamedish Vaomar, Yenosen Chele Kakotten Lekotten, Umashi Yirtsi Yasebe, so in other words, divide the, the, the certain part that belongs to the cotton. And that part should go to the cotton. I trust the cotton. And so the Rishus Biyadi, so if the father clearly says, and there's normally if the father should be Manapatrupas. If the father wasn't a Manapatrupas, Bezin should be Manapatrupas. But if the father clearly said, there's no need for Apatrupas, give it to the cotton. So is there a Rishus Biyadi? The Chain, Imina Hamoirish Apatrupas Alaktanim, cotton the Isha Yevid. So normally, you're not going to be mamana a cotton to be apetrupus, or even the isha or evet. You should be mamana, as the Ram will soon say, you have to be mamana someone that's a ish and a bardas, etc., etc. Masha'inkin, if the moirish was mamana, just like the moirish has the brera to say to give it to the cotton, so he has a brera to be mamana any type of apetrupus that he wants. Avali in Bezin, mamana apetrupus, le isha, vli evet, vli cotton, vli amoritz, shubeches kas choshed alaveris. Ella boitkin alodum nemon, the ishchayel, the yedel, the hapak, the schusa yisemim, the tein tanesim, someone that should be responsible, someone a ishchayel, that's yedel, the hapak, the schusa yisemim, the tein tanesim, and the yeshlem keh, the iski ha'ilam, kedein lishmer nichseim, ularavirbem, umamit nesa lactanim. You're such a person, you put a lactanim. Mashenk and aisha, normally an isha is not such a yedel, the betiva elam. She's not so involved in business. Mele, she pashtas doesn't have, she could be a ish a naman. But on the other hand, she doesn't have the other qualities of the ishchayel, the yedel hapel, the chus That's something which is not really so motzi by isha. Now, ben shoh yerochi, ben shoh yekarav lekotten. Now, this apetrup is so that bezna is supposed to be mamana, which is the ishchayel, which is naman, the yedel hapel, the chus could be either a karav or, or not a karav. But when you get a karka, so we say you're not supposed to be maimed, karav ben ishchayel. Mashenki when he gave the metal to him, so you could have a karev which is memun on his nechosim. Elishim ho yikarev li yered the karkois. The karkois is now to be yered because there's a chash that he might tie it that it's his chelik in the Yerusha. Mashenki when he gave being overseeing of his nechosim, so then there's no problem of being meman and apotrupis a nemon to oversee the nechosim of the cotton. Halacha zayin. Now bezn shemidu apotrupis v'shamu olav shu eichel v'sheise. That all he's, 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 he's doing things that till now he really didn't, it wasn't his type of lifestyle. And now all of a sudden his lifestyle, he's spending much more money than he used to. Is That's the reason to suspect. And therefore, So it knows, And now they don't know for a fact that he did anything wrong, but they see that all of a sudden his lifestyle is, is spending much more money than he was do- doing before. So there's a reason to suspect maybe he's using Nixi Eisemim. That's enough to be Mesalik the Apotropos. Avo, that's talking about if they were Memanim, the Bez was Memanim. Avo, we know Avi Eisemim, but if the Avi Eisem was Memanim, and Mesalkin Eisem, because Shem and Metziah Matzim, we don't have really a Yisod, that he, and the whole Yisod is that there's a suspicion, but there's a possibility Shem and Metziah Matzim, and therefore, if we know Avi Yisemim, you're not Mesalikim. Ella in Bo Edim, Shumafsid, Nixi Yisemim, then Mesalikim Yisemim. Only if it was Bo Edim that he was, that, that he's being Mafsid, Nixi Yisemim, Bechi Agav, Mesalikim Yisemim. So again, 
if they were mamanim, they, 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 the 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 bezin. So even though the pale, there's no clear suspicion, but we see that he's up his, uh, uh, spending more money than he was used to until now. So that's enough of a suspicion to be misalikim. Mashainkin, if we know Aviyasemim, that's not enough of a suspicion to be misalikim. However, in Bo Edim, Shumafs, and Nixi Yasemim, is misalkin, they say. And then, of course, Kimo Ageinim, she also, Shemashbi, and they say, Hey, Lumafsit, that this person, that even though he was Mino Aviyasemim, and normally on Mino Aviyasemim, you're not, you don't, you don't, you're not Mashbiim with a tiny Shema, you're not Mashbiim with a tiny Shema. But, nev- but nevertheless, over here, since they saw that he was being mafsid, so when you're misalik him, you also must be him that he doesn't owe any more money. Originally, when Avi Yusem was memani him, so he was a ish yosher and raid of mitzvahs. And now, v'chazer li es chzeil v'seve v'heil v'darke achshad, ish aparaz b'nedorim o ba'avak gezel. So no, it's not just a suspicion. Before the pshat was, you saw a person, you, he was memuna as, as an apotropos, and now you see that he's spending more money than he was used to spending. So over there we say, for a, a bet, for a, for a apotropos, shiminoa, bezin, that's enough of a suspicion to misalikim. Masha'inkim for apotropos, shiminoa, vi yusem, that's not enough of a suspicion to misalikim. In order to misalik someone that was mino avi yisemim, then it has to be that we know that he did something wrong. He was mafsid the yisemim. Then you misalik him, and then also there's a takonis ageinim to be mashbeer. Now, what happens if someone that was mino avi yisemim, avi yisemim, the avi yisemim was mamanim, and originally he was a adam halo b'derech yosher, and now he's talking not only that he's spending more money. He's up his bechalal. He's not a halo b'derech yosher. So he's halo b'sevil. So then Bezn Chayovan Lesalikis. So Bezn is Masalikim. That's enough of a, of a reason to be Masalikim also by Mino Avi Yasemu. Ola Hajbiye, and he has to swear that he doesn't owe any money. And then Ola Hap, Laha, Ola Manis, Lama Petrupa's Kosha. And Bechol Hadvarim Eilu Kfim Ashir El Dain, because it's not like so black and white exactly what happened over here. Because if you see that this Apetrupa's, which was originally. An apotropos which the halo b'derech yosher that was when the avi yisem was memanim, and now he changed his way. So that's a reason to be mesalikim. Shekol bezno bezno who avi him shall yisem. Now what happens if the avi yisem was memanim someone that was melechatchila not halo b'derech yosher? He was a zeil v'seve and he was avakribes. All these things that we're saying is he's doing right now. He was doing already when he was memona. So then that's not a reason to be mesalikim because just like the avi yisem can give it to the cotton himself. The Avi Yisem could say that he wants that this person should be memun on, on, on his children's nechosim. Halacha ches. Koten shehigdul. Afilo haya oichol v'shoyse yesem midai umafsid v'eilu b'dechera. Bezin sees that L'peil he was higdul. So Meila now he no longer has apotropos. He has access to his money. And L'peil he's oichol v'shoyse yesem midai. So the din is ain bezin meinim imenu mameinim. Because L'peil it's his money. He's the Yerush. So therefore, even though Bezin doesn't think that he's that he's spending money in in a, in a in a reasonable way, but nevertheless, it's his money. So therefore, they can't stop him. Ve'im amidin le'apetrupas. Elim can't siva of him. Ve'im merishe shliyitnu le. Elim hoye kosher. Elim can't hoye kosher matzliach. So as if there was already a tzava from the moirish that Yitaka shouldn't give him unless he's acting properly. So then you could hold back the money from him. Hoye shliyitnu le. That's my or if, let's say, the Moirish left at Tzavo, that they should only give him at a certain point in time. When he gets older and he's become more responsible, only then should you give him the money. So, you hold back the money. But normally it's Azoi. An Apetrupis is, is the, the Kitsu is Azoi. An Apetrupis, that's Minua Viyaseimim. The only time your Misalikim is either when there's Adam that he was being Mafsid, or that he changed his ways. He became someone that's a zeil of a seven, a lehil b'derech yosher, he's a chashem b'abak ribis. He changed his ways. Masha'enki in a person that, that all of a sudden, just all of a sudden, we notice that he's spending more money. So that's not enough to be misalik, an apotropis, which we know of he is saying. Masha'enki in apotropis, which we know bezin. So that's also enough to be misalik in even the fact that he was going around and spending more money that he was used to spending, is used to spending. Bahasheite vacheresh are in kiktanim, and therefore mamidin lapetrupes. Before we spoke about being mamidin lapetrupes for a cotton, and then there's another thing: if you have someone that that dies 
and Lepeli left a child, which was a cheresh or a sheita. So Enochinami is not a cotton, but he's a cheresh or sheita. So therefore, he can't really take care of his own nechosim. So again, so Bezn is mamidin la ma or there's a chiv on the father. Just like the father should be man apetrupis for his son a cotton, so al derazei should be man apetrupis for his son, which is a cheresh or a sheita.